now a while ago in uh in the previous uh presentation i told you that there is a uh specification or system requirements for you to be able to run uh, OBS Studio into, into your respective uh, laptops or desktops. Um, this system requirements is just simply like your prerequisite subjects in college that in which you have to pass for you to be able to get your major subjects for your course. Same as also for the students' grades that they have to pass uh, or present first their qualifications or their uh, pertinent papers or documents for them to be enrolled. It is also the same in the manner of installing softwares in their respective laptops, gadgets, or uh, machines. So for you to do that, we need to check whether uh, your uh, operating system as specified in the system requirements runs in Windows 8, 8.1, and Windows 10. Again, uh, OBS runs only in Windows 8, 8.1, and Windows 10. But uh, there is a latest uh, pronouncement in the forum that OBS uh, or that Windows 8.1 and Windows 8 will now be phased out. They will no longer be giving updates for those OBS installed in Windows 8. So we have to switch to Windows 10. So to do that, I want you to go to your respective di desktop display here. Go to the type or the go to the search uh, icon just next to your start button, and I want you to type uh, DX uh, Diag. There you go. That's DX Diag, and this should show up into your suggestion interface. So just click that one up. Wait for it. Might take some time. And there you go. So this is the system uh, information of my uh, desktop or laptop. So as you can see here, the current date and time, the computer name, the operating system is Windows 10 Pro Education 64-bit. So that is 64-bit. So later on, you also need to take note whether you have the 64-bit or the 32-bit windows because uh, the installers... Uh, vary from 64-bit uh, windows to 32-bit windows so they have different types of installers so they're the language you have the system manufacturer you have the bios or the bios you have the processor you have the ram uh, it it has eight gigabytes ram just uh, uh within the uh, suggested parameters and the DirectX version, that is DirectX 12. It says there that you have to have the DirectX version of 10. So DirectX 10 and up is good. Some still, or some laptops or desktop still remains in DirectX 9 or 9.5. So you have to install DirectX 10 and up. Uh, if I am not mistaken, if uh, your DirectX version uh, is not in the specified uh, system requirements, uh, OBS will let you know it and we, I think if they, they would uh, also install it for you, hopefully it will still install it for you. So, uh, you also have your display, so not much about that. Uh, a while ago, it says that uh, you, uh, if you have your graphics uh, processing unit or your GPU or what we all know as a video card, uh, it is... So very, it is uh, highly recommended that you have a video card. But if you don't have, it's all right. It's fine. Specifically in laptops, uh, the graphics processing unit is uh, uh, embedded already in the motherboard. Uh, we can't really do that if you don't have one. But if you have, you are working in your desktop, you can still upgrade your GPU. So far, that's how you take a look at your uh, system uh, specifications. So if you have seen it that you have it there, then that's good. So you're good to go. You can also take a look at your system specifications uh, by just simply right-clicking in your My Computer or the, this PC uh, in your desktop and go to Properties. Uh, there you go. So this is where you can also find your uh, the operating system which is windows 10 pro uh, education you have the manufacturer you have the model and the processor the installed ram the type or the system type it's 64-bit operating system or by 64 based processor so you can see there uh, 
but you can't view the uh, the direct x version from this window so i would still suggest that you type in the dx diag for you uh for you to totally look into this system specifications so 